Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I feel like it's been a really long time since I sat down and talked in front of the camera and actually, as always, I'm the last person who gets anything, so I got the COVID. <laughs> That's why uh, I missed a week and also my last video was uh, a cleaning one because I didn't want to talk and uh, sound uh, nasally. So um, I bought, uh, I think, a month ago uh, two perfumes. Um, it was supposed to be a video more close to Valentine's and the beginning of spring because I think uh, these two perfumes are uh, a good spring scent uh, but uh, as things happen we do it today I'm the last person who uh, have Valentine's perfume gift ideas so the first one uh, actually, I'm, I've known it for a really long time and uh, a friend of mine used it, I think, in 2004 or something like that and uh, I smelled it a few times and used it um, but I forgot all about it and I found a tester bottle I usually don't buy testers but it was really cheap and I just couldn't pass the bargain. It's a full bottle. If you know it, then uh, two points. <laughs> it's a Hugo Boss Deep Red. Um, I really like this scent, although uh, most of the notes are usually not my kind of uh, uh, scent notes, which I like. I will read you the notes. Um, Blood, uh, top notes are blood orange, black orant, clementine, pear, mandarin orange. Middle notes, ginger, ginger flower, tuberose, freesia, hibiscus. And the uh, base notes are vanilla, sandalwood, musk, and California cedar. So uh, it's a bit citrusy in the beginning but it's more orangey citrusy not lemon one um, and then it turns into a bit spicy vanilla it, it's really nice scent I really like it um, I think it's very uh, appropriate for a, a gift for a woman or a, for Valentine and uh, its name is really and also the bottle uh, suit it the deep red one um, it's medium sillage and uh, longevity um, although usually perfumes doesn't last on me that long uh, this one lasts on me three hours, maybe four hours. I also noticed that uh, usually on uh, synthetic fabrics like polyester, perfume tends to last very long time uh, in comparison to like cotton uh, fabric. I don't know why, but that's what I'm uh, getting. And um, also I've talked, I think in my uh, uh, 2021 empties uh, video about love addict the body mist of Victoria's Secret and I forgot that the top note is actually blood orange I remembered uh, because this one also has it um, I kind of like this note although citrus is not my uh, favorite uh, type of notes so the next one it's pretty famous, but I've also found a really good deal about it, so I've got the big bottle. <laughs> and it's... oops... It's the Burberry Her. I have to say, it's a really good one. And the atomizer is so nice. It 
It's like, keep spraying. I love the smell of it. So good. Although I think everybody has this perfume and I'm the last one on this one also. I will read you the notes. I have my computer down here, so that's why... Uh... <laughs> Uh, top notes are strawberry, raspberry, blackberry, sour cherry, black currant, mandarin orange and lemon. Middle notes are violet, jasmine, and base notes are musk, vanilla, cashmere, oak moss, woody notes, amber, and patchouli. Uh, to be honest, um, although it's not a strong scent, um, I somehow get uh, whiffs of it even pretty long after I spray it. I think that perfumes that has patchouli in them last on me the longest from all type of perfumes. Um, also, it's kind of... it's a type of scent which you sometimes smell and sometimes not. I, I'm not sure how to describe it. Uh, Siage is not is moderate, I would say, and longevity is quite good. Surprisingly, I I wasn't expecting that much out of it, but it's good, um, and it's a great gift for someone in Valentine's or in springtime or whatever. I don't mind getting present any time of year. And the last and the last thing that uh, I want to add to this uh, perfume review is uh, I uh, walked past the store which sadly was closing and it was a perfume store not far from my home and they had like uh, free items to get and I got a few items. I also got perfumes. I will, I think, talk about it in a different video. Uh, but uh, I had to buy something. I mean, I wanted to buy something. I felt sad that they're closing. And I got the Blushing Berry Magnolia uh, from Victoria's Secret. And it's so good. <laughs> it's also uh, the notes are a white strawberry, creamy uh, magnolia. Um, to be honest, I have this wild chase after a body mist or a perfume. Um, I think in 2010, I had a body mist of uh, strawberry and whipped cream, which I loved. And I'm since then chasing this scent. And Burberry Hair is, it has similarities. And also this one, actually, I'm not sure how Magnolia is supposed to smell. So it could be like uh, strawberries and cream. And I would buy it. I mean, uh, I'm not that subtle and understand all the notes to know them very well. But... Uh, both of them are not exactly the scent that I owned. The wild uh, <laughs> chase after uh, the dragon. Um, it's the addiction, probably. Uh, so um, I think this is it. It's going to be a short video. And if you watched up to here, then thank you very much. And also... Um, when uh, I was sick, I thought about uh, names to this pandemic, which are more in the perfume world. So please write in the comments what, uh, uh, which name would you prefer. The, for the first one is Coco19. The second one is La Pandem. And the third one is Influenza Absolute. Tell me what uh, is your favorite uh, name to all this madness. So have a great day and thank you very much for watching. Bye.